Welcome to Escape X History Channel, where we embark on a captivating journey through the annals of time to explore the rich tapestry of human history. From ancient civilizations to modern revolutions, our channel is dedicated to unraveling the intriguing events that have shaped the world we live in today. Before we delve in, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel to never miss an update when we post new videos. The echoes of battle had barely subsided at Thermopylae when the Greek city-states, stirred by the heroic sacrifice of King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans, found themselves compelled to rally in defense of their homeland. The Persian Empire, undeterred by their setback at the narrow pass, sought to assert their dominance over Greece. The stage for the next act of this dramatic struggle unfolded on the plains of Plataea. As the year 479 BCE unfolded, the Greek city-states found themselves at a critical juncture in their struggle against the mighty Persian Empire. The heroic stand at Thermopylae, where King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans had faced the Persian onslaught, had galvanized the Greeks into a unified force. The Hellenic League, a coalition of city-states, emerged as the embodiment of this newfound unity as they prepared to confront the Persian army under the command of King Mardonius on the expansive plains of Plataea. As the Greeks prepared for the impending conflict, they faced internal challenges. The leadership of the Hellenic League was a delicate balance of egos and conflicting interests. Despite their differences, the Greek generals understood the importance of standing united against the common enemy. Pausanias, a Spartan general and the nephew of Leonidas, emerged as a prominent figure among the Greek leaders. The landscape near Plataea presented a stark contrast to the rocky confines of Thermopylae. The vast, undulating plains stretched as far as the eye could see, offering an expansive battleground where large armies could maneuver with greater freedom. Unlike the narrow pass that favored the smaller Greek force at Thermopylae, the plains of Plataea provided ample space for both infantry and cavalry, setting the stage for a different kind of conflict. As the Greek forces assembled on the broad plains, the leaders of the Hellenic League faced the challenge of adapting their tactics to the open terrain. The phalanx, a tightly packed formation of hoplites with shields interlocked and spears extended, remained a core element of Greek strategy. However, the newfound space allowed for more flexible deployment, enabling the Greeks to exploit their strengths in both infantry and cavalry. The Greek commanders, with Pausanias of Sparta playing a central role, devised a strategy that capitalized on the advantages offered by the landscape. They positioned the hoplite phalanx at the heart of their formation, creating a solid core that could withstand frontal assaults. Flanking the phalanx were contingents of skilled hoplites from various city-states, each contributing to the defensive wall against the approaching Persian forces. The Greek cavalry, under the command of Aristides and other capable leaders, took advantage of the open plains to showcase their mobility and strategic prowess. They patrolled the flanks, ready to counter any attempts by the Persian cavalry to outflank the Greek forces. The diversity of the Hellenic League was on full display, as soldiers from Athens, Corinth, Thebes, and other city-states stood shoulder to shoulder, united in the face of a common threat. King Mardonius, having learned from the mistakes of the past, led a diverse Persian force onto the plains. His army included skilled archers, heavily armored infantry, and formidable cavalry, demonstrating the strategic adaptability of the Persian military. Mardonius, aware of the broad expanse of Plataea, aimed to exploit the mobility of his cavalry and the numerical superiority of his infantry. The plains of Plataea became a canvas upon which the fate of Greece hung in the balance. The Greeks, with Pausanias leading the charge, repelled wave after wave of Persian attacks. The hoplites, guided by discipline and the memory of fallen comrades, held the ground, countering the Persian cavalry and infantry with strategic precision. The clash of bronze against bronze, the thundering hooves of cavalry, and the disciplined movements of the phalanx echoed through the open expanse. The Greek forces, standing united against the Persian onslaught, demonstrated a resilience born from the lessons of Thermopylae and the shared determination to safeguard their homeland. The Persians, with a diverse array of troops, 
unleashed a barrage of arrows and mounted charges, attempting to break the Greek lines. The Greeks, however, adapted their tactics to the open terrain. The famed hoplites of Athens and other city-states, armed with spears and shields, formed a formidable defensive front, countering the Persian advances. The turning point came when the Greek cavalry, led by the skillful Athenian general Aristides, outmaneuvered and outflanked the Persian forces. The Persians, not accustomed to facing such well-coordinated cavalry tactics, found themselves in disarray. The Greeks capitalized on this moment of weakness, pressing the advantage and breaking the Persian lines. As the battle unfolded, the Greeks fought with a determination born from a shared sense of purpose. The memory of Thermopylae served as a unifying force, and the Greeks, despite their internal differences, stood together against the common foe. Pausanias, leading the Greek forces, exemplified the leadership and strategic acumen necessary to secure victory. As the day wore on, the Greeks, with the memory of Thermopylae still burning in their hearts, gained the upper hand. The cavalry maneuvers led by Aristides outflanked and disrupted the Persian formations. King Mardonius, realizing the tides of battle were turning against him, attempted to rally his forces but was felled in the midst of the chaos. With the death of King Mardonius on the plains of Plataea, the battlefield witnessed a pivotal shift in the dynamics of the conflict. The Persian forces, bereft of their commander's leadership and strategic guidance, descended into disarray. The vacuum left by Mardonius's absence created a moment of vulnerability that the Greeks, sensing victory within reach, seized with unwavering determination. The once disciplined ranks of the Persian army, now leaderless and fragmented, struggled to maintain cohesion. Communication broke down, and the lack of a central authority left the various contingents of Persian forces acting independently. This disintegration played directly into the hands of the Greeks, who, fueled by the memory of their fallen comrades and the vision of a free Greece, pressed their advantage. The hoplite phalanx, still holding its ground with unwavering discipline, became a rallying point for the Greeks. The soldiers, drawn from different city-states, fought side by side with a shared sense of purpose. The absence of centralized Persian leadership allowed the Greeks to exploit gaps in the Persian lines and launch coordinated attacks against isolated pockets of resistance. The Greek cavalry, under the skilled command of Aristides, capitalized on the chaos within the Persian ranks. They executed lightning-fast flanking maneuvers, disrupting the remaining Persian cavalry and encircling isolated infantry units. The once mighty Persian forces, a formidable juggernaut when led by Mardonius, now faced the relentless onslaught of a resurgent Greek army. The plains of Plataea became a haunting tableau of warfare, with the fallen from both sides dotting the landscape. Bronze-clad soldiers lay side by side, testament to the sacrifices made in the pursuit of victory or, in some cases, the defense of their homeland. The air resonated with the clash of weapons, the shouts of warriors, and the anguished cries of the wounded. The plains of Plataea witnessed a resolute Greek advance, where the very essence of determination, kindled by the memory of Thermopylae, surged through the Hellenic League. Every step forward became a symbolic stride towards securing the freedom of their city-states and the preservation of their cherished way of life. The memory of Thermopylae, where King Leonidas and his valiant Spartans had defied overwhelming odds, loomed large over the plains of Plataea. The sacrifices made by those 300 warriors, who stood as an indomitable bulwark against the Persian onslaught, became an enduring flame that fueled the Greeks' resolve. Their memory served as a beacon, a reminder that the struggle at Plataea was not just a battle for territory but a defense of the very essence of Greek identity. As the Greeks pressed forward, the ranks of the hoplite phalanx moved with disciplined precision. The clanging of bronze armor and the rhythmic thud of marching boots echoed across the plains. Each soldier, whether Spartan, Athenian, Corinthian, or Theban, fought with a shared purpose ingrained by the sacrifices of their predecessors. The spirit of Leonidas, the Stoic king who uttered the immortal words, Molon Labe, at Thermopylae, seemed to guide their every step. The vastness of the plains allowed the Greek commanders to deploy their forces with strategic acumen. The hoplite phalanx, 
forming an unyielding shield wall, advanced steadily against the disarrayed Persian forces. The Greeks, driven by a collective determination to resist foreign domination, demonstrated a unity that transcended their individual differences. Every stride on the plains of Plataea was laden with significance. The Greeks, having tasted the bitterness of defeat at Thermopylae, were now fueled by an unyielding desire for victory. The open terrain provided a canvas upon which the Greeks painted a narrative of defiance and resilience. Each clash of spear against shield, each surge forward against the remnants of the Persian forces, echoed the collective heartbeat of a people fighting for their autonomy. The memory of Thermopylae became a rallying cry, a mantra whispered from one warrior to another. The image of Leonidas and his Spartans, who chose death over submission, inspired the Greeks to press on against the Persian retreat. Their determination became a living force, pushing the Greeks beyond physical exhaustion, driving them to overcome every obstacle in their path. The pursuit of victory on the plains of Plataea was not merely about territorial gains. It was a quest for the preservation of Greek values, traditions, and the autonomy of the city-states. The Greeks, standing united against the forces of an expansive empire, recognized that the battle transcended the immediate conflict. It was a struggle for the very soul of Greece, a fight to ensure that the cradle of democracy and intellectual flourishing would not succumb to the shadows of despotism. As the day wore on, the disarray within the Persian forces deepened. The Greeks, relentless in their advance, closed in on the retreating enemy. The fallen warriors, both Greek and Persian, lay scattered on the plains as silent witnesses to a clash of civilizations. Victory, hard-earned and well-deserved, belonged to the Greeks, and the memory of Thermopylae had played a pivotal role in shaping their destiny on the plains of Plataea. The Persian retreat turned into a rout, with individual units attempting to flee the battlefield in disarray. The Greeks, relentless in their pursuit, harried the retreating forces, inflicting further casualties and capturing prisoners. The once mighty Persian army, which had sought to extend its dominion over Greece, now faced defeat and dispersal on the open plains. As the dust settled on the battlefield, the Greeks, victorious yet humbled by the cost of war, surveyed the scene. The fallen warriors, Greeks and Persians alike, lay as silent witnesses to the clash of empires. Among them, the fallen body of King Mardonius served as a poignant reminder of the price paid for power and conquest. In the end, the Battle of Plataea resulted in a decisive Greek victory. King Mardonius fell in battle, and the remnants of the Persian army retreated in disarray. The Greeks, having learned the importance of unity and strategic cooperation, celebrated their triumph over the mighty Persian Empire. The Battle of Plataea, with its dramatic twists and turns, marked the definitive end of the Persian threat to Greece. The sacrifices made on that broad expanse of land echoed through the annals of history, a testament to the resilience of a united people defending their homeland. The legacy of Plataea, intertwined with the memory of Thermopylae, would shape the identity of Greece and inspire generations to come.